Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be going through all of my highlighters. This is going to be a highlighter collection video slash mini declutter. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So let's start off with this first one. This one here is by Princesa and this is the Pearl Powder. It's an eyeshadow and this one here is in 23. And I did swatch it and it's just a little too deep for me. So I'm going to declutter and it's honestly not... Um, the greatest shadow out there so this one's gonna be decluttered so next we have this one by ebon new york and this is the holographic highlighter and it's like a powder form really similar to the last one that we saw this one here is in galactic purple haze and this retails for retails for 875 and it's just like everything goes everywhere let me swatch it so that is the shade right there as you can see it's like deep for my skin tone it's just one that they sent me in some kind of like giveaway or something and although it's gorgeous sometimes i put it in my inner corner and just apply a really bright purple highlighter like a really iridescent one it looks gorgeous but honestly like i'm not gonna use this so i think i'm gonna declutter next highlight we have here is by ellie colors and this is the beauty and bloom highlighter in the shade quartz it comes in this cute little tin and these are available at Dollar Tree and they have highlighters, they have blushes and eyeshadows. So let me swatch this for you, it's so gorgeous. It's just so pretty and only $1 for this little cute tin and it's definitely travel friendly. So this is one that I definitely recommend and definitely not going to declutter. The next highlight we have here is by Laura Geller and this one is the baked gelato swirl illuminator in gilded honey I mentioned this highlighter quite a few times on my channel already because it's just so beautiful and it just sucks that it broke like this thing comes out so it's like it's just annoying to use but i'm gonna keep it this retails for 26 dollars and this is tiny and it's just the most beautiful highlight but I don't reach for it but you can see like it's just so intense oh my gosh it's gorgeous so I'm gonna keep it and try to reach for it more although it's broken I still pay for it so I am gonna get a use out of it so I'm gonna keep this so next one we have here is by wet and wild and this is the highlighter in crystal high this one was like limited edition because they had some kind of I don't remember what it was it was some kind of collection that came out and they came out with a bunch of little palettes like quads and honestly what took what got me about this highlighter is that people were comparing it to the Fenty Beauty highlighter it's very much like a putty type of formula like if you press on it it goes down and it's so bright so that is the highlighter right there this is definitely one that stands out like if you do if you make videos um, especially like beauty videos and you want your highlighter to really pop this is like a perfect highlight for that however like in person on the face it's just super glittery and this did retail for like five dollars i believe when i purchased it it's just gorgeous if i could go back in time this is one that i wouldn't pick up but i am going to keep it because this is a putty formula so it's going to be pretty easy to use so we're keeping this let me know if you own it let me know if you still use it it's just a little much sometimes so the next highlighter we have here is another one that's available at the Dollar Tree and this is the Ellie Colors highlight and this one's in the shade shine bright so as you can see this one's pretty beat up it's broken I dropped it a couple times I need to repress and this is definitely a highlighter that's really really yellow But it's still pretty it packs a punch and like i said this was only one dollar so i'm gonna keep this i always i'm gonna do a um ellie colors roundup where i'm gonna talk about all my ellie colors products because it's so messy though like it's like going everywhere but i'm gonna do a whole video on ellie colors and so i'm gonna keep it and then i don't know i have to repress it so i'm gonna have to do that i'm gonna have to look up some videos on how to do it but yeah, I'm going to keep this. The next product here is by Just Color. And this is their Pro Glow Baked Bronzer. And this one's in Perfect Bronze. This is a baked bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter. It's just gorgeous for when you're wearing like a bronzy kind of eyeshadow. 
and kind of like everyday makeup i feel like it's just perfect for my skin it can tend to be a little dark because it's a bronzer but i still like it it's just really really pretty so i'm gonna definitely keep that i believe it's like two dollars or something like that but oh my god it's gorgeous i love it i own another big highlighter and this one here is by J Cat, and this is the U Glow Girl Baked Highlight in Twilight. And this is it here. It's so gorgeous. Oh my god! Like the packaging did break. The packaging is pretty like cheapy, um, but the product itself is so so pretty. Let me swatch it for you. So that is the shade Twilight. It's so pretty. So we're definitely keeping her. So next one we have here is by LA Girl and this is the Strobe Light Strobe Powder. And this one here is in the shade 110 Watt. And as you can see, it is like a yellowish, greeny kind of white highlighter. So that's the shade there. I've mentioned before that I like using this highlight for when I do like green looks or like um, blue looks. Just because it is rather like white, there are some shifts of like green and gold in there and it's just really pretty so, so I'm definitely keeping this one. So next we're going into Maybelline and these are the Master Chrome Highlighters. This one here is in Molten Gold and Molten Rose Gold. So I am doing a full week of drugstore makeup next week and I actually used this one in one of the videos and it is so beautiful. I honestly forget to reach for this one just because I like that one more but that doesn't make this one less beautiful it's so gorgeous and it's honestly perfect for like those everyday kind of looks even though it's super intense it's just it's so pretty kind of gets me kind of gives me like the Laura Geller vibes it's just so pretty definitely recommend you check these out if you haven't already they have various shades and this one here is in rose gold and as you can see this is so beautiful i love using this for like pink looks purple looks i purchased this because um i remember tati westbrook had done a video on these and she mentioned that she loved the rose gold so i picked it up and honestly yes like this is so beautiful picked up um quite a bit but that is the rose gold and the molten gold and these retail for $5.69 and honestly beautiful definitely recommend you check these out so next we have a highlighter from H&M and this one here is the highlight in sunlit gold rather cheapy as well and this highlighter retails oh my god okay. so it comes with the mirror but it broke off and this is the shade sunlit gold as you can see it's so beautiful this retails for $6.99 I feel like H&M prices tend to be really high for some reason, but okay, so look at that shade, right? It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Although the packaging sucks, the formulation is just, it's just so beautiful. So we're definitely keeping this. I have various like H&M products. I used to own their primer, their face primer. I own some of their, I own an eyeshadow palette from them which I really enjoy. So I definitely recommend you check this out. I also own a lip cream which I rave about all the time. So yeah, they have a lot of great things. It's just that prices tend to be a little high but this highlighter is gorgeous. Honestly, this shade here is really, really easy to dupe. So I wouldn't say go out and buy this one necessarily but it's gorgeous if you wanted it. So next highlight here is by Wet n Wild, and this is their highlighter in Boozy Brunch. As you can see, this is oh, oh okay, okay. As you can see, this is such a gorgeous highlight. Not only do you get like little pink, uh, it looks like a little cheetah print or whatever, and then it's just so pretty. We have some pinks in there. We have some little brown specks in there, like bronze. But when you mix it all together, obviously you're not gonna get the pink, um, but you get this beautiful gold shade. And there it is there. I remember this was super popular back in the day on YouTube and people used to love this and rave about it. I don't hear anybody really talking about it anymore, but it is gorgeous. I found it on 
clearance at my local five below definitely one that i recommend i love the formula and i always rave about it because it's gorgeous it definitely looks like the la girl one so i'm gonna swatch this one just next to it because they're kind of similar oh in person they don't look that similar like this one has a little more white to it but they are really like in the same family interesting by becca and this is the champagne splits and we have champagne pop and then this really bright pink um blush but we're gonna talk about champagne pop i did hit pan as you can see i don't believe that these are available anymore i don't know but that is a champagne pop right there it's such a gorgeous highlight honestly like i'm gonna try to use this up and just get rid of it i've had it for such a long time and i kind of want to part ways with it but i do want to hit pan on the whole like pan like i feel like because it's half it should be easier to use up than like a whole highlight so i do want to finish this up and then just declutter it because the blush is really just too deep for me so yeah this is one that i'm gonna keep so next one we have here is by amuse cosmetics and this is one that you can find on the shamise website and it comes with this bronze shade and a light pink shade both of them are gorgeous i tried them out in my trying the shamise makeup video and these are just gorgeous and only one dollar they're so beautiful i'm so happy that i picked this up definitely recommend you check out shamise they have so many great products and if you're looking for a highlight i honestly mix both of them let me just do that now so you can see how they look mixed together um where should i put it i'll just put it here so that's the bronze the pink side and then both of them mixed together it's just gorgeous definitely recommend you check it out only one dollar which is crazy because highlighters tend to be really expensive like the high-end ones but honestly you don't need to break the bank for a beautiful highlight definitely recommend it so the next one here looks like a little notebook this one here is by beauty concepts bc which is down here and this one came in a set of four which i'll have on the screen if i remember to put it but this one is the illuminate strobe palette and it comes with instructions on where to put it or where to put the shades we have four beautiful highlights in here and um this one here is highlight rosy highlight illuminate and strobe so gorgeous so we'll do highlight ray rosy light illuminate and strobe these are so pretty really cheap i did find the set of four at my local dollar general and honestly they're so pretty i've been saying i want to do a whole video of these little palettes like the eyeshadow one the um eyebrow one and the contour one and i don't know what it is i just never do it because it's so hard to find like online but honestly these are so pretty and super inexpensive really pretty so i'm gonna definitely keep this so this one here i've had for such oh okay all right this one here i've had for such a long time and this is the beauty creations angel glow palette it is rather bulky i bought it when hush was around it comes with the mirror such an old palette but so beautiful at the same time look at all these shades they do have another palette which is like a red um kind of packaging i feel like these shades are just better for my skin tone and these are still available on the beauty creations website and they're pretty this one's so old though i don't know they're just gorgeous let me swatch them like this one has like a big dip in it okay that one kind of went over but as you can see these are so beautiful this is a palette that i always recommend and i'm gonna definitely feature in my beauty creations roundup video it's gorgeous so we have to keep this because honestly really pretty i just forget to reach for it i don't know what it is um, but i do need to feature this in more videos 
So next one we have here is by Wet n Wild and this is their highlighting palette. It is super sleek and pretty. I bought it on sale during the holidays. I believe it was last year. But these are the shades here and they're pretty. I just, I don't know what it is. I just don't reach for this palette. What I really enjoy is that we have various options. Like this one here is white but it has a shift of purple. And then we have like a rose gold kind of shade, a true gold, and then a kind of bronzer kind of shade. And all of them are so pretty, but I don't know what it is. I forget about it. I don't feel like the formula in this palette is as good as like the Boozy Brunch palette, but I'm gonna keep it. In fact, we have the actual name. So the white one is called White Lily. Blossom Glow, Golden Flower Crown, and Paradise Bloom. I think I'm going to keep it just because it is really, really pretty. But for the same reasons that I don't reach for my Beauty Creations palette, it's just, it's kind of big. So when I'm like choosing my makeup, I don't go for like these big palettes with a bunch of highlighters. So I'm going to rethink like purchasing highlights that come in like these big packagings and stuff. It's just easier to like reach for one, you know, individual. Whereas like reaching for a whole palette for just for highlight is crazy to me. So I'm going to stop purchasing these big palettes of highlights. Thankfully, I don't have that many, but oh, nope, it's right here. Um, these are gorgeous, so I'm going to definitely keep this. Um, here we have another palette, and this is the Soph X. This is probably like the highlighter palette that I don't regret purchasing because this is one that I reach for a lot because I get such a variety of shades in here, like pinks, I get, I get purples and pinks, I get golds. I get like these soft highlights um, versus like the super metallic ones. So on a day where I'm feeling like an everyday kind of look, I reach for like these here. These are super metallic. These here are like for colorful kind of looks. I might not swatch all of them, but you see how they're just so pretty and I love this formula. And yeah, so I'm definitely gonna keep this. It retails for $12 at Ulta. Those are some of the swatches, horrible swatches, but they're just really pretty. Definitely recommend this palette. It's just gorgeous. So this is definitely a palette that I don't regret purchasing and I reach for often. So here we have a newer one to my collection and this is the Fantasy Glow Kit by C Color. These are the shades and although they're really pretty, recently I used the pinks here and they're just really dark for my skin tone. They come off like really, really pink. But the other shades in here are gorgeous. I used this yellow one the other day. Let's swatch. Do you see how the, the pink ones are really dark? They're pretty, $1.99. They remind me of like the ABH palette. I mentioned that in my haul video. Yeah, so these are gorgeous. Definitely gonna keep this. Um, it's just so pretty like look at that packaging it's just gorgeous and then i just need to uh, make these work for me like they're super pink but yeah it's just a beautiful palette i definitely recommend if you go to the 99 and you see this and you love highlight definitely pick it up it was only 199 and it's just beautiful okay so now we're going to look at some highlights that i have in certain palettes like this Too faced um little gingerbread whatever house thing this one comes with um, various things like a blush and a bronzer, but it also comes with this highlight right here, which is called Get Frosted. And it is so beautiful. These are just some that I'm gonna share. I'm not gonna declutter any of these, but yeah. So that's a shade, Get Frosted. So this one here is one that I mentioned in my Ulta Beauty um, um, little unboxing situation. And these are the shades we get in here. As you can see, like this palette for some reason has some like grease situations going on. I don't know why that happened. But we have this gorgeous highlighter shade here. And I just wanted to swatch it for you guys. That's it. Only retailed for $20. And we got so many amazing things. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And yeah, I just wanted to share that. It's so pretty. I'm so happy I picked up that set. It's just so, so pretty. Only $20 for a whole set of makeup. You get 25 pieces and yeah. So the next highlights are gonna be found in the BH Cosmetics. Um, it's my Ray Ray palette. 
and this is actually an eyeshadow palette that i mentioned quite a few times i love those um metallics they're just so beautiful i never touched this palette i don't know why i should these shades are gorgeous maybe it's because i don't like these shades on my skin like they just made me look i don't know what it is like you know certain shades you don't just don't like um but the this palette does contain like purples and blacks and I definitely need to um, reach for it often like these shades are gorgeous but what we're focusing on are the highlighters at the top so we get like a wide variety of shades in here we get moonlight we get radiant and french toast and this is honestly like perfect for anyone to pick up because it comes with a variety like we get this white kind of yellowish um, shift highlighter we get this bronze highlight or like gold highlight and this bronzy highlight you can definitely mix and match and honestly like the formulation is gorgeous so this is one that i neglect in my collection but i definitely have to pick up because it, i like that we get um highlights and face shades in here i can definitely use this under the eyes kind of use these to like contour my face and then i have eyeshadows as well it's just beautiful and I didn't write down the prices, but I'll have them on the screen. This is gorgeous. And I found this one at TJ Maxx. The last one we're going to talk about is by Beauty, um, Ulta Beauty. And this is the Beauty Babe palette. It also contains eyeshadows and face shades. And this is the perfect palette for every day. It just has like those browns in here. They have some purples and such a gorgeous palette. We get blushes and a contour. But we get this highlight up here. And that's the one we're going to talk about as you can see it's really pretty it's just kind of getting hard pan now it's not even that old but oh my god my hands super glittery already but that's the shade there <laughs> you can see it's like it's like blending in kind of but yeah it's just gorgeous i definitely recommend like if you see this at old song clearance definitely recommend it's so so pretty perfect for like that everyday person who just needs some makeup to throw on and go especially if you do your makeup like um at work or whatever this would be perfect for you and it's so compact like it's so thin and just perfect to throw in your purse and go and it's just so pretty definitely recommend and this is the last one we're talking about today my entire highlighter collection i'm gonna have to fix this right now but the goal was not to get rid of a lot of highlights i just wanted to get rid of the ones that i don't use like these two they're just too deep for me so i'm gonna put these in my empties bin and yeah just declutter them because i'm never going to use this it's super messy both of them are they're loose highlight i'm not a loose highlight kind of person so yeah these are both out of the collection I always make these kind of videos collection slash declutters i did it with my brushes i did it with my uh, i need to do it with my eyeshadow palettes but i do have an older declutter on my channel all of those videos are in a playlist and that's going to be linked down below if you want to watch don't forget that i upload every tuesday every thursday and every sunday next week we are doing um, drugstore week so if you want to stick around for that it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of these highlights are going to be featured in those videos it's going to be a whole week long event so if you want to be part of it go ahead and subscribe my insta handle displayed on the screen and post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore to high end at the moment i am doing my palette lottery where i'm getting all of my eyeshadow palettes and watching them out for you It'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You are your own person and you make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.